What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new camera comparison video. For today we have the iPhone 11 and the LG G8X. This is basically LG's foldable phone. The camera systems on the back of these two phones are very similar. We have the main lens and then we have an ultra wide lens. So this is gonna be a very straightforward comparison. So throughout this video I will show you a bunch of daytime pictures and of course I've included some portrait mode pictures. After that um, you're gonna see some nighttime pictures then we'll move on to see some sample videos and all the way at the end some selfies. So we are starting with the daytime pictures and first you're seeing some pictures taken with the ultra wide lenses on the back of these two devices. For these pictures I've noticed that um, the pictures taken by the iPhone 11 seem to have more accurate and realistic looking colors where the pictures taken by the LG G8X seem to be a bit more saturated because realistically the sky never looked that um, blue as it shows in the pictures taken by the LG G8X. The other thing I've noticed is the fact that dynamic range in the pictures taken by the LG G8X is better and um, this is pretty much the case for all pictures taken with the ultra wide lens. Moving on to some portrait mode pictures, well um, here I think it's a matter of personal preference because um, some pictures I actually prefer the pictures taken by the iPhone 11 and some taken by the LG G8X. The edge detection is very similar on all pictures but the colors seem to be more pleasant for the pictures taken by the iPhone 11. But I feel that um, they are more accurate and closer to reality for some of the pictures taken by the LG G8X. So that's why I said um, it's gonna be a matter of personal preference. So definitely let me know in the comments down below which phone you prefer for portrait mode pictures, the iPhone 11 or the LG G8X. For all the other pictures, so pictures taken with the main lenses on the back of these two phones, the dynamic range trend continues. So every single picture taken by the LG G8X um, has better dynamic range. And I feel that that makes some of the pictures uh, look better. I personally prefer the colors from the pictures taken by the iPhone 11 but I can easily see a bunch of people liking uh, the somewhat uh, brighter looking pictures from the LG G8X. So definitely let me know if you prefer the iPhone 11 or the LG G8X for daytime pictures. For sharpness they both seem the same so I haven't really noticed any difference um, for that and just in case you're wondering um, all the pictures that you've just seen or taken on auto mode on both devices. And we are moving on to nighttime pictures. For nighttime pictures the night mode was used on both phones. Now the iPhone 11 turns on the night mode by itself where um, with the LG G8 X you actually have to turn on uh, the night mode manually. Now looking at these pictures I feel that the iPhone 11 did better in every single um, situation. The pictures look sharper, they are brighter and overall way better um, looking and more appealing. The LG G8X doesn't do that bad but since we are comparing the two I feel that the iPhone 11 is the clear winner for nighttime pictures. Now if you take pictures with the ultra wide lenses on the back of these two phones the things are reversed because um, the LG G8X does seem to do better than the iPhone 11 for those pictures. And th that has to do with the fact that the LG G8X has um, a night mode that still works um, for the ultra wide lens where on the iPhone 11 the night mode doesn't work. So if you are planning to use um, the ultra wide lens on the back of these two phones the G8X will do better at nighttime, but if you're using the main lens, the iPhone 11 will definitely do better. And we're moving on to video recordings. Well, for video recordings, both devices can do 4K at 60 frames per second. However, for this video, I've only done 4K at 30 frames per second. So first things first, the colors. Well, the colors from the recordings done by the iPhone 11 are definitely better. Then the sound quality from the internal microphones do sound better from the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 has better noise cancelling as well. As for image stabilization, once again, I feel that the iPhone 11 did better. So I'll let you guys watch um, a few video recordings and I'll be back right after. Alright, we have a quick video test between the iPhone 11 and the LG G8X. So I'm currently recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and at this resolution both devices have um, image stabilization. And that's why I wanted to do a walking test so we can see which one does better um, stabilizing uh, the footage basically. So I'm gonna pan left as soon as I get here. It is um, pretty windy and you're probably gonna hear some traffic as well. And I'll pan right. Then we'll keep walking straight for a bit. And I'll even do a bit of running. So let's see which one does better um, on running. 
so yeah this is how recording from these two devices would look like um, recording in 4k 30 frames per second and we are moving on to yet another quick video test between the iphone 11 and the lg g8x once again i am recording in 4k 30 frames per second and at this resolution we have um, image stabilization for um, both devices so i'm gonna go ahead and walk slowly straight forward I'm gonna pan right in a second, so about here. And then back left. So this is how recording from these two devices would look like. All right, this is a quick video test between the iPhone 11 and the LG G8X. This is the LG that has two screens, basically. So I'm currently recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. And of course, at this resolution, um, we have um, image stabilization. And as you can probably see for yourself, um, it's nighttime. And uh, I wanted to see which device does better um, at nighttime, basically. So I'm going to walk around the corner here. It gets um, a bit darker around here. I just want to see which phone, uh, which camera basically does better um, in low light. And from what I'm seeing on the screens here, well, it looks like the iPhone 11 is doing a bit better, but um, of course I'm going to have to see how this footage actually looks um, on the computer. So I'm going to pan left here for a bit, and up, and then I'll pan right again, and we'll walk Till, um, till we get to the light uh, right there. So yeah, this is how recording from these two devices would look at night time. And lastly, we are moving on to selfies. And honestly, I, I never imagined that the LG G8 X would do as good as it did. So for daytime selfies, I still feel that the iPhone 11 has the edge. The selfies do seem a bit sharper and maybe a bit brighter um, during the day, but maybe somewhat. And once again, it comes down to your personal preference. But where the LG G8 X does better is nighttime selfies. So most nighttime selfies taken by the LG G8 X do look better. But definitely let me know in the comments down below if you prefer the selfies from the iPhone 11 or the ones from the LG G8 X. So to quickly conclude this video, the LG G8 X seems to do somewhat better for certain pictures during the day, so for daytime pictures, then it does better for nighttime pictures if you are using the ultra wide lens, and then once again it does better for nighttime selfies, but for everything else the iPhone 11 seems to be better. So for portrait mode pictures, for nighttime pictures, for video recordings and daytime selfies. And once again, let me know in the comments down below which phone you prefer for daytime, nighttime and um, of course video recordings. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.